we're going to try something that has not been done in campaign 2016. At this critical moment in the race, we've brought together top strategists from every single one of the remaining five campaigns. With us, Karen Finney, Senior Advisor for Communications and Political Outreach for Hillary Clinton. Jeff Weaver, Campaign Manager for Bernie Sanders. Trent Duffy, National Communications Advisor to John Kasich. Alice Stewart, Communications Director for Ted Cruz. And last but not least, Rick Wiley, who is the National Political Director for Donald Trump. Thank you all for being here. Great. Crossing my fingers. Let's see how it goes. Let me, let me just start with you, Jeff, because sure. you, heard, you heard Hillary Clinton's reaction when I said, well, what do you think about these five, six things that uh, Bernie Sanders definitely wants in the platform? And you heard her, her remarks and her tone about Bernie Sanders. What did you think? Well, look, this race is not over by any stretch of the imagination. We're going all the way to the end. The senator has said that uh, repeatedly. Uh, obviously, the platform is of a concern whether he wins or loses, uh, as is the whole process by which we elect a Democratic nominee. So this campaign is going on. We've got Indiana coming up on uh, Tuesday, and uh, he's going all the way to the end. Karen? Uh, you know, as you heard Hillary say to you, it's, it, she absolutely thinks that the senator should go, uh, you know, as long as he wants to. But I think the truth is the math is just not there. 260 more pledged delegates, 3 million more actual votes. Uh, you know, the senator would need to win 28 percent of everything that's left. And the only place we've seen him do that is his home state of Vermont. So No, no. You know, uh, she would win. She would need around 20 percent. Right, so she, she would need around 20 percent. He would win, need about 90 percent. You're right. Sorry. Right. My, my, oh, but, I, but what I would say is, you know, look, I think at some point, uh, the point that she was making, Senator Sanders and his supporters, they have worked very hard. And obviously, we have a great deal of respect for that. But at some point, you know, I mean, you've got the Democrats on this side and the Republicans on that side. At some point, if we want to make sure that a Republican does not win the White House, we are going to have to come together. And I'm sure there will be conversations about the things that Senator Sanders thinks that are important in, in the platform. Secretary Clinton tends to agree on these yeah. issues. They may disagree on how we get there. So I think there's a lot of agreement. But, you know, one point that I think is really important that I haven't heard Senator Sanders yet really uh, acknowledge. His role in this will be critical. Yeah, he, he, He's going to have to play a very strong role in saying to the people who support him and who have worked their heart out for him, just as with my colleagues here, when they try to unify on the Republican side, the candidate themselves have to be part of that process. Hillary Clinton was no holds barred behind Senator yeah. Obama, then Senator Obama, and that's part of why it worked. Jeff. Yeah, look, uh, Bernie Sanders has said he will endorse clearly the nominee of the Democratic Party. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But let's be clear. But beyond an endorsement, hey, will, he be, will he be will an he... enthusiastic, assuming he does not get the nomination, and I understand you're not ready to say that, yep. but, but assuming he, he doesn't, will he be enthusiastically on the campaign trail for her? Yes. He, we, there's nothing we want less than having a Republican in the White House. But let me be clear. The onus is on really on Secretary Clinton to bring the Bernie people to her. If she's the nominee... There's been a lot of, you know, acrimony. And that's the sleight of hand we keep hearing. That's a lot of, been a lot of acrimony <laughs> in this ca campaign. There was a lot of uh, denigrating of young people who support Senator Sanders during this campaign. And that's not all going to be soon forgotten if the Clinton campaign does not reach out to those people and address the many of the important issues and that Bernie has raised that she has And not. I think I wanna, you've uh, seen her do that. I want to bring in some of the other uh, campaigns that we have here because well, there's a whole other party, <laughs> yeah, of sorry. course. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. And the first thing I want to do is ask you two. There was supposedly a, uh, a, a Cruz-Kasich alliance at one point where Kasich signified symbol... Um, he suggested that he was going to focus on Oregon and New Mexico, and Cruz suggested he was going to focus on Indiana. But then that seemed to go a little bit off the rails. I want to get your perspective on what happened. Well, nothing happened. I mean, uh, Casey canceled his campaign appearances in Indiana, and he went straight to Oregon. He's been in Oregon. We're on, um, on the air there. We have ads there, so that is the focus, and that's the agreement that was reached. It's all about making sure that Hillary Clinton can't be elected president, and if Donald Trump is at the top of the ticket... Uh, it's doomsday for Republicans, so that's why the strategy was developed, and that's why it's uh, at place. Do you agree? Certainly, and the, and the point okay. uh, point of this was to to shift the resources to states and areas where they're best utilized. And this is a uh, understandably an unconventional campaign, and a lot of folks thought this would be decided at this point. But uh, we felt it was in our best interest to to look at the states where we should uh, most spend our resources and time, and we spent a lot of time. Uh, in Indiana, and uh, having the you know the support of, of Governor Pence was great, and we'll be spending quite a bit of time there through Tuesday, yeah. and that's the, that was the point. I, I get it, but I but I also know well. For instance, uh, John Kasich said the following, and I think a lot of people in the Cruz camp were confused. If we could play that clip, I've never told them not to vote for me. They ought to vote for me. Talking about Indiana voters there, and then Senator Cruz said something in which he kind of suggested that there wasn't a, a deal. And John Weaver, the senior communications director, senior uh, strategist for, for 
uh, Mr. Kasich, for Governor Kasich, wrote, I can't stand liars, seem to be talking about Ted Cruz being a liar. So there does seem to be some sort of, there was no moment of disappointment on the Cruz campaign for what Kasich said? The, the, the purpose of, of the agreement was, as, as he said, to he, he was going to spend his resources in, in states where he felt was uh, most beneficial, and the same with us. And that's exactly what we've done. It's paying off in Indiana. Rick, what do you say? I, uh, th this is an alliance between candidates in search of candidates who agree with this alliance. I mean, this thing fell apart from day one. You know, the, the dueling press releases that came out at 11:15 on Sunday night. Uh, you know, the next day, uh, Governor Kasich, uh, it seems to me it was negotiated in at the RNC meeting, but they kind of forgot to tell the governor about this. And then I, th three days later, I believe Senator Cruz said there was no alliance. So uh, this, this thing was... Uh, doomed from the start because I don't think it was ever going to work and you couple that with going to Oregon where all vote by mail and there's a pamphlet that goes out with the ballots governor Kasich didn't even make that pamphlet so yeah what you know, happened with yeah, that again I mean it's just it's, it's he's on the ballot fell apart in the he's on the ballot he's on the ballot we're up in ads and we're gonna do well in Oregon because the mail-in ballots uh, is the way it works he was out there for two meetings uh, two town halls they went very well and but what happened with the thing with they didn't get the information in on time he is on the ballot and he's gonna get votes there all right uh, look, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to campaign uh, in these remaining upcoming contests, and, and we're going to be successful because Donald Trump has has tapped into this vein in this country that 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 they are frustrated, and and he's been able to to connect with them, and that's what you're seeing across the world.